Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a big breakfast, so let's get started. Let's get our pan with some oil in it and warm it up and let's get that shredder and start shredding these potatoes. You know, many times I've made hash browns. I actually used, <laughs> one time I used a small hose. It didn't work for me, so that's why I'm using this side where the holes are larger. I got my potatoes. They're all shredded up and we're gonna go ahead and get this moisture out of these potatoes. Hash browns can be hard to make. I made a lot of mistakes, but guess what? I found this new technique where you put them in paper towels, roll them up and take out the moisture. Let's go ahead and add some nice salt to it all over the hash browns. That way they'll be nice and season and i'm going to go ahead and get my pepper and just add some pepper to it as well add them to your pan and let it wait there for a few minutes and by the way look at this what i'm making mmm bacon you know you have to have bacon with your breakfast because it's so good <laughs> i'm just keeping my hash browns nice and firm and flat <laughs> tap 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 and now i'm going to show you what i have some nice coffee in my honey bunny cup that my sister gave me my coffee is so so delicious oh now let's go ahead and turn these over and bam yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah i did it i kind of got nervous on this one but since it's a small pan <clears throat> it's not that hard. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, just kidding. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and kind of like hold my pan a couple of ways because sometimes I'm trying to distribute the heat well. <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes when you're cooking, I don't know about you, but my pan or my stove, it actually seems like it cooks more on one side than the other. So, if you see me turning my pan here and there, that's the reason because I want to make sure sometimes I'll flip it to the other side or what have you. But I'm going to let these babies cook for a while and then it'll be time to take them off the stove. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can't wait to taste them too because I know they're going to be nice and crispy. And that's what I want. I like them to be crispy. Some places they don't have them as crispy, but I like to hear that. <laughs> when you bite into them i don't know what it is but that just makes i don't know it just makes the hash brown taste like wow you know it gives it that uh it's like uh when you make a grilled cheese and you slice it and you hear that crisp and then all of a sudden you see all that cheese come out well the hash browns to me i like to like bite into it and then you hear that little that little crust but that's just when I'm making them because I know I'll go to McDonald's and you won't hear that. <laughs> All right, so it's been about four minutes probably. 
pass by and I'm gonna go ahead and just go look for a spatula where's my spatula and I'm gonna get my plate and get ready to take this guy out so I messed up <laughs> It didn't come out right. I didn't put that on the video, but I tried getting it and putting it on the plate right, but <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, hey, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> All I know is that it's still going to taste good when we put it on our plate. <laughs> So what's next? Oh, the eggs. So I'm gonna get my pan, I'm gonna put some oil in it, and I'm gonna start working on my eggs. Now, my eggs, I like to cook them with a higher heat, which instead of like a six, I put it like on a seven. And I make sure that the pan's nice and hot. I put my oil, my salt, which I'm gonna do right here. Add the salt, yeah. And then I have my eggs ready. So when I feel that the pan is nice and hot, I add my eggs and they start, you know, cooking. And, you know, I get ready. I flip my eggs. I don't scramble it much. I flip them because I don't really like them all, you know, tiny. And, you no, know, I like kind of like in bigger pieces, I guess you could say. And so that's what I'm doing here see how the edges are see how you could tell that it's cooking on the edge so sometimes i'll try it out on that edge but right now i'm gonna let them cook a little bit more and you'll start seeing like the edges starting to cook and you'll know that the center is cooking because you'll see it and so right now i'm just trying to see okay so here i go i turn it i didn't flip it because it's just the edges, but soon I will. Once the middle starts uh, cooking and bubbling, and here you go. Mm. I'm gonna turn it and put it to the middle. I'm waiting for the time until I see the cooking on the edges again. I'm gonna turn it. Yeah, and kind of like get the middle area and kind of like just go around. I don't know why I like doing this, but I do. This is my method of making my eggs. I'll probably do a video about eggs or something, but you know, this is the way I make my eggs. And so that's the way I make mine. And I'll continue to keep letting them cook like that. Once it gets a certain time, I just start hurry up and like, then I'll, I'll kind of like mix it in, like almost like a scramble, but not. Watch and see, and you'll see that. Uh, by the way, how do you like your eggs? Do you like them scrambled? Do you like them over medium, sunny side? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as for me, I actually like scrambled eggs uh, with something in it. Like bacon and eggs or ham and eggs or whatever. But it, you know, with the egg in it, scrambled. However, I do love me over medium eggs because it's cooked on both sides and so you have that egg in the, the yolk where it oozes out that's the way i love my eggs like i love me some where was rancheros like honestly i love where was rancheros and i like it with the sauce and then when you put the sauce the 
ranchero sauce, I like to have cheese on top of that. Now, I have to be careful when I order what was rancheros. Uh, I learned this, okay? I learned not to tell them to put cheese on top because I noticed that every time I told them, they would put it right back in the microwave, put the cheese and put it in the microwave and melt the cheese. But they melt it like where they cook the egg. So when I was going to crack the egg so that all that would ooze out, it wouldn't do it. It was hard. So I had to ask them if they could remake my order, which I do not like them to do. But I asked them if they, you know, because I wanted it me over medium. So they knew, so they made it over medium. So I would tell them, you know what, just put my, my cheese on the side. And that's how I did it. So got my eggs done. Now I'm heading and starting to cook my French toast, which I like French toast, but I don't like to eat it all the time. It's almost like, um, I don't know. I, I guess because it's ready. I don't know. It's just me. But I do like it, but I don't like to eat it all the time. I'll probably eat it maybe, maybe once a month or maybe, you know, like once every two months. But, you know, here I am making these uh, French toast and I like to make it with uh, the Texas toast. But this is what I had on on hand. You know, you got to improvise. If you don't have it and somebody wants French toast, you just make it with the thinner bread. You know, the regular bread, sandwich bread. That's what I do. It still comes out right. Um, I know that there are people who like it a little more, I want to say crispy. But I guess you could say maybe a little harder on the outside. I don't know, but some people do like it a little soft in the side, on the, in the middle. So it does come out soft in the middle, but crisp in the edges. And that's the way I like mine. And here it is, a nice big breakfast I made for my family. And of course, I hope that you like this video. Please like and share. I do thank you for watching, and until then, see ya!